it's Dr. D, and today I want to tell you about blue light. You might be wondering, what is blue light? Blue light is just a type of wavelength on the electromagnetic spectrum. If you remember being in elementary school or middle school or high school and seeing the electromagnetic spectrum, we're gonna take it way back to then and talk about this again. So you probably remember Roy G. Biv. This is the visible light aspect of the electromagnetic spectrum. And what we're talking about are these blue and blue purple wavelengths down here. So what's interesting about blue light is that it's just a form of light energy, but it sits next to ultraviolet light right here on the spectrum. What we know about this spectrum is that as you go this way, you have shorter wavelength light. Shorter wavelengths actually carry higher energy. Now, blue light sits right next to UV light on the spectrum. And when we think about UV, everybody's like, oh my gosh, UV causes big issues. Whenever I go out in the sun, it can be absorbed in my skin and it causes problems there. Well, that's exactly right. And blue light has some of those same properties. It's also short wavelength, which means it also carries high energy, but blue light is absorbed in your eye or it can be absorbed in your eye. So what's interesting is that our body has its own defenses against things and most UV light is absorbed by the combination here of your cornea and the lens of your eye where blue light is not. So blue light makes it to the back of the eye. You might be wondering where does blue light come from? Blue light is actually everywhere. The biggest source is the sun. So it's, you know, it's, it's literally everywhere in our environment. But the reason it's become kind of a buzz word over the last um, couple of years is that it's super highly concentrated off of all these digital devices that we use, whether it be your cell phone, your tablet that you use, your computer at work, you're getting an extra dose of blue light throughout your day. So we have started protecting eyes against blue light um, by using our lenses. We can use lens treatments and we can also use specialty lenses that have um, blue light blockers incorporated within the material. So I wanted to show you some examples of that. Traditionally all we had to block blue light were these yellow type of lenses. So this is pretty obvious. You can sort of see the yellow tint and you would be able to see that in your glasses. Well, as of lately, we've gotten clear blue light protection. So you're not gonna see this as much as you would a fully yellow one. And then finally, the, so these were examples of treatments that are kind of baked in and incorporated into the material. And then we also have an option called Provincia that is a treatment on the front of the lens. This is an anti-glare that helps to reflect off some of the blue. Here is blue light traveling through the optical system and here's a fully blocking yellow lens. You can see that it stops that light completely. If we do the clear version of blue light blocking, this again is the blue light blocking baked into the material. We see really, really good um, blockage of the blue light. So it greatly minimizes how much makes it to the back of the eye there. And then the final option is a treatment on the front of the lens. So this is not blocking as much. You may be able to appreciate a slight decrease. So the difference is this one is reflecting light off. These are actually blocking.
recommend for all of my patients who spend their day on their computer and then their evenings on their tablets and their cell phones is to just give some thought to blue light protection. Um, we can incorporate blue light protection in your glasses in a couple of different ways and help minimize your exposure. So we even have blue light lenses here without a prescription. Totally possible to wear non-prescription blue light protection glasses so that you're not, you're cutting down your exposure when you're on the computer during your work day and at home and waiting in line and wherever you are staring at your phone. <laughs> so the reason why you want to protect your eyes from blue light, or you may want to, um, is that it can have very real effects both on potentially the back of your eye, but then also just how your eyes feel. So there, it's really hard to say what the long-term effect of blue light exposure is going to be. We just don't know that yet. Um, we know that blue light, as it travels through the eye, it gets focused in your macula. Your macula is the anatomical point of your eye where you have, that's responsible for your sharpest, clearest, your central vision, all the stuff that's important to you, all the detail. It's also where a person can get macular degeneration. So there's no link to this yet, but it's definitely something that's concerning. We know that blue light is able to get focused to your macula. So, I always say, you know, the research isn't there yet, but to be certain and to protect the eye, you certainly can't hurt um, yourself by wearing blue light protection and not letting that blue light even get to your macula. So that's one concern we have. The other concern is that so many people these days with increased computer use just feel like their eyes feel terrible. So just sitting there all day, you know, if your eyes are feeling fatigued, if they just feel like, gosh, they just feel awful, they're tired, um, that may be because of all the blue light exposure that you're getting. And so by blocking that, it can make your eyes feel a lot better. The third thing is that we also know that blue light exposure can impact your melatonin production. Melatonin production, of course, is important for regulating your sleep-wake cycles, your circadian rhythms. So if you've heard, I've, I've heard a few times on the news uh, reports saying, hey, don't use your phone right before bed. Try to turn it off a couple hours before. Um, you know, if you're using your phone right before bed, you might have a little harder time getting to sleep and falling asleep. Well, those studies and those news reports are alluding to the fact that your sleep-wake cycles can be harmed by all this blue light exposure. So blocking with blue light has many benefits. It can make your eyes feel better. It has the potential to protect the back of your eye from future damage, and it may just help you sleep a little better at night too. All right. So if you are interested in having some blue light protection, whether you typically wear glasses or don't, um, please feel free, if you're a patient of mine or want to be a patient of mine, to call the office. We can certainly tell you all about it. Um, or see your own eye doctor. Um, we're all very aware of blue light and its impact on the eye and would be happy to show you the options. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We have new videos that come every single Wednesday at 4.